A fine century from Jonathan Trott forced a fourth day's play between Warwickshire and Surrey. Warwickshire resumed on 29 without loss on another glorious morning at the Keir Oval with a mountain to climb if they were to force Surrey to bat again. Warwickshire needed a bright start, but they lost Porterfield in just the second over of the day, Sam Curran getting one to straighten to trap the opener in front for 19. Things were looking dire for the visitors when both openers were back in the shed three overs later. Mella caught by Sangakara off Dernbach for 14. Bell and Trot were the new pairing and Bell made a positive start. Trot, however, was riding his luck, first playing all around a delivery from Dernbach and then surviving a strong LBW shout. When Trot then scampered home to defy a direct hit from Batty, it looked as though it may be Warwickshire's day after all. The pair began to settle and the partnership grew with Bell passing 50 in the process. Bell and Trot had put on 76 when lunch was taken, Warwickshire 113 for two at the break. Both Warwickshire batsmen batted positively early in the middle session as they brought up the 100 partnership. Foot it though finally got the breakthrough as Borthwick took a spectacular diving catch at second slip, dismissing Bell for 64. Four overs later, Hayne was gone, trapped in front for three by Dernbach. Trop brought up his 50 with a fine boundary and continued to take on the Surrey attack. However, at the other end, he lost two partners in quick succession at the hands of Tom Curran. Ambrose out LBW for no score and Clark feathering the ball to Folks for six. New batsman Barker supported Trot, who continued to lead the resistance for Warwickshire and was on 99 not out at tee, with Warwickshire still trailing by 139. A single off Borthwick in the first over after the break took Trot to his 41st first class 100. At the other end, Barker played some wonderful strokes and the Surrey bowling attack began to tire as the partnership went past 100. Barker brought up his 50 soon after. However, a rare misjudgment by the batsman saw his fine innings come to an end as Batty dismissed him LBW for 57. Patel came in to survive six overs at the end of the day's play and left the field with Trot on 141 not out a vintage innings from the Warwickshire veteran which has helped his side fight back in this game. The visitors though still trail by 41 runs with Surrey requiring three wickets on the final morning for victory.